Hey, the Rick Master here, and this is gonna be my Hyoka episode seven review. Um, good episode, good episode. I, I like it. I like the mystery of it. It was, it was actually pretty good. Um, so basically, what happens in this episode is that they're going to the hot springs. Apparently, uh, school was out to the summer break, so they're going to the hot springs. And Oriki was like, "Man, I was just gonna sit here and just relax the whole summer," but I was like, "I, I can't deny Chitanda." Because, you know, every time she trying to ask something, he has to comply to her. So, um, they end up going to the hot springs. Apparently, Oriki is motion sickness. That means he can't, you know, he can't take any kind of motion. He's in the car, and he's driving in the car, and he's got sick in the car, you know. He didn't throw up or anything like that, but he felt, he felt sick. And so, um, they went to the hot spring, and, and they end up meeting these two new characters. Uh, these two new characters' names are Ray and Kyle. Kyle's the younger sister of Ray. Ray's the older sister. That's more um, energetic and whatnot, and uh, and Mayaka knows um, her and that end, so that's why they're able to go there free, free of charge and whatnot. So they're good, they good. So um, they're going in the going to hot springs. Apparently, freaking uh, Satoshi, he's just a hot spring fiend. He's he's been in the hot spring this whole episode, like most most of the episode, he's hot spring, hot spring, hot spring, Nick. <laughs> so um, yeah, so or. Oriki was like incredibly bored. He was hearing drums, by the way. Just I'm just gonna throw that in there. He was hearing drums. You don't know why, but he went to sleep. He was messed with TV. He was, he was just doing anything. He's like, all right then, I'll go to hot springs since we're here. And so he ends up getting out of his room. He ends up seeing Chitana too. So they end up going together. Apparently there's no mixed baths. Apparently also, <laughs> Chitana wanted to go to the um, hot springs bath with him in the mixed bath, like you know, together. So I was like, hmm, Chitana, what are you doing? Yeah, what you doing? <laughs> so uh yeah so it's not mixed bad so they end up going their separate ways and uh he ends up seeing so uh, Satoshi there like I said he's a, he's a he's a hot spring fiend he's been in the whole time so he ends up going in there um nice censor, censorship and this thing is funny um he's like taking off his pants and everything and then this kid came behind his butt so he couldn't see his butt and the kid's like come on dad come on <laughs> oh that's, that's actually kind of that's kind of funny how they censor that so um he ends up going to hot springs and they're to see them just talking and then he ends up passing out was good at, he's not good in hot springs because probably was already um he's already feeling sick from the from the whole motion sickness thing so i guess that combination of the heat was mess was just messing with him and so he ends up passing out um well not passing out not yet anyway but he's like i'm sorry guy oh he did pass out but he's like i'm sorry guys i passed out messing up your day and whatnot apparently he's also somewhat attracted to chitanda because chitanda comes in there and checks on him and she's like hey you okay and everything he's all looking into his eye, her eyes her lips a little bit lower than that. I was like, what's going on here, man? What you doing? What you doing? And so, uh, that all happens and everything like that. He ends up um, overhearing this little ghost story. And this is where the um, story and the whole mystery begins in this episode. The whole story, ghost story, because they're supposed to tell ghost stories and everything like that. And he couldn't really participate because he got sick or he passed out, but feeling good. And so, basically, um, this guy in room seven, in this hotel, room seven, uh, this guy ended up renting out that room and paid a lot of money to a point to where, you know, he didn't have to really be disturbed because that, that's a lot of money. They didn't really want to mess with him. He, he, he told the, eight, um, the maids and the, uh, and the waitresses not to mess with him. Don't want to mess with him. Just let him be in his room by himself. He, he, didn't, he didn't want no one in there. And so they kept, they heard these screams all of a sudden. And it's just, it's just like going crazy in there. I don't know what's going on. And so they ended up finding out that I, I think he, got, he hung himself and, or killed himself. I'm not exactly sure, but some guy was hung up in, in that room. And so we dead, and they like uh, more people died in that room, and so there's like some epidemic that was going on within that um, hotel, and so then they had to uh, lock that um, room up and put ex like exercise it and everything, and put sutras and, and all this stuff in it to, to make sure nothing goes wrong, so no one goes in that room anymore because you don't want nothing crazy happening in there, and so um, that's the haunted place, and so then this is where the mystery kind of unfolds with this, is that um, <laughs> Chitanda and um, and Mayaka ends up seeing the hanged man in like in a shadowy figure of the hanged man, basically in that room. The door, the window was was open, and this this, this light was there, and bam, you know, the man was there. And she, they're like, "What the heck?" Well, Mayaka was there, and she got scared. Like, um, what? Um, she kind of was like, Psh. like when she didn't say, Psh, but she's like, "Huh?" Like she didn't really react like, like that, and she didn't come out in the open about it too. And and then so since both of them seen it. She, she tells like I gotta I gotta know what's gonna happen. What 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 do we see? I I wanna I wanna know. I I'm, I can't stop I can't stop thinking about it. I'm like oh here we go. So this is what we gotta do. So he has to figure out what they saw basically. And um so they go through all this stuff. Um it was kind of fishy and I was like you know Ko did something 
Cause um, it was weird. Like there's there's like these mugs. They have like um, um, uh, Ray's name on it, and then uh, Kyle's name on it. Like everything had like these names on it. It was, it was weird. I was I was wondering why there's names on certain items for some reason. But their names on certain items, and we come, we come to find out that about about that later. But um, yeah. So then I'm researching everything and said Kyle was acting kind of strange. Like they try to ask her something, and she's like, uh, yeah, you know, I don't wanna. You know, you know, you can't go. Like they're trying to investigate that room, room seven. So they're trying to go in there themselves. Chitanda and Oriki, because Satoshi, like I said, he's a freaking bad fiend. He was in, he was in this freaking hot spring still, and uh, Miyaka was with the, um, the older sister, I guess, if I, if I remember what they said. And so then they're trying to um, interrogate uh, Kyle, and Kyle was like, you know, you can't go in there or anything like that. She'll be mad at me, and she's like, she seemed kind of unwillingly wanting to talk to them, and so she just left. I was like, something, something's going on with her. Something, there's something about her. I already knew it. When, and then the thing is, something didn't happen about her. So they end up figuring out what happened. Or, or Riki does, anyways. Because he ends up going to the back again with Satoshi. And Satoshi ends up telling him that um, there was a summer festival that happened uh, a couple of days ago. Well, not a couple of days, but I think it was a day ago or something like that. And uh, then he figures it out because he ends up seeing this girl that was out, that was running outside. You know, he knew who that was. But he ended up piecing it together. Apparently, what happens is that, and he's going to explain this to Kitanda, apparently what happens is that um, Kyle wanted to wear this uh, this Yukata, because you, this Yukata was Ray's, and you end up seeing um, that Yukata on Ray in the episode, actually. And so then, um, yeah, she wanted to wear that um, Yukata, but her sister wouldn't let her, because apparently all those name, all those name tags on, the, like, on those items that have them both names on it is apparently they, they don't share. We're not good at sharing, so that's what's going on. They're not good at sharing at all. So, there's, that's what's going on with the whole name tag thingy, and that's why she didn't want to let her, you know, wear that um, suit, wear the Yukata. But she wore it anyway, because she's like, I'm a boss, and I'm going to wear it anyways, because you like you going to tell me what to do. Mm -mm -mm. I was like, oh, yeah. So she ends up, going, that girl he saw that was running outside was her, with a Yukata on, going to the summer festival. And so, she didn't expect this, but it started raining, and then bam, she got all wet and stuff. She's like, God dang it. So she had to um, dry it off, and but she didn't want to, uh you know, use the dryer because that'd be too obvious, you know, you know, she, she didn't want to get, no, get in trouble because she didn't want her sister to know because she's not supposed to be wearing that. It's cause, and, she, and, you know, she knew that her sister was going to want to wear the guitar because of uh, this other festival thing or something, something, else, something else was going on. And so then she wanted to dry it, she wanted to dry it off. And so she ends up going into that room seven where no one was going to be there. Who would be in room seven with all those haunted killings and whatnot? So she's going to try to dry it in there. That's why the um, window was um, opened. And that's what they saw was you could tell hanging in the air, oh hanging not in the air but hanging, and because in the moonlight was sh like shadowing, it looked like a shadowy figure of the hanged man. So that's what was going on, and that's what's ha what's happened. And uh, yeah, so at the end of the episode, they thought um, Ky Kyo and Ray weren't really you know lovely dovey brother like sis sisters and stuff like that, and that makes Shitana kind of sad because Shitana wants a sister of her own or an older bro a, a younger brother too to just be you know kind of sharing stuff with and whatnot, but she's like, oh, it's kind of sad, but they end up seeing that, you know, even through all that not sharing stuff, they still, you know, love each other and everything like that, he, she, um, Ray ends up picking up Kyle because, it's, I'm not sure what happened, but, you know, piggyback ride, and she, and she dies like, yay, ah, oh, that's okay, and so, yeah, the end, that's what happened in the episode, so I'm curious what happened, to, what's gonna happen in the next episode, where is this, sh where is this show taking Gus, is exactly what I want to know, too, where is this show taking Gus, because I'm curious, so, um, Leave your comments below and tell me what you think of the episode. Like if you like this review. And subscribe to my channel for some more some more Hioka reviews. So yeah, it's been the Break Mask. And until then, break out!